hey, look what I found. 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, super white in color. Let's dive in and I'll show you all about it. Okay, up front on the TRD Pro, this grill is unique to the TRD Pro with the Toyota emblem on the back, or Toyota lettering on the front. It's a matte black finish on top, matte black finish down below, and then the grill itself is a matte black finish. So a big, bold Toyota grill, only available on the TRD Pro. Also, this little box right here that you see up front that has a boatload of technology in that box and then there's also an additional one up there in the mirror and they work together with all kinds of safety features part of the safety sense 2.0 pre-collision detection pedestrian detection lane departure detection dynamic radar cruise control ton of sensors working together to make this a safe vehicle for you let's take a look down underneath you can see the TRD Pro does come with the steel skid plate with the TRD badging on it. A couple tow hooks, one there and one over here. And we'll slide around to the side here and take a look at the suspension. So you can see there's your suspension setup. That's an off-road suspension if there ever was one. Fox shocks with the TRD red springs and the heavy duty stabilizer bars. So this is going to be a firm ride and it's a great off-road vehicle. Taking a look at the headlight package and the fog light package. So we have a projector style headlights, halogen driving lights, and then LED fog lights with the blacked out bezel around the side. So a very aggressive look and those LED fog lights are a nice bright white. Up on the hood, there is a hood scoop, and it does have a, black, a matte black finish on the bezel. This is not a functional hood scoop, simply there for cosmetics, but it sure looks great on this vehicle. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the wheel package. Okay, so the wheels on the TRD Pro are a 17 inch cast aluminum wheel with TRD badging in the center caps. And then these tires are an all-terrain tire. They're the Nitra Terra Grappler tire. It's a 265, 17-inch wheel and tire, 265, 70 R6, 17-inch tire. Great tire for off-road, but also a smooth tire on-road, realizing that most people are gonna spend the majority of their time on-road with this. Factory mud guards are standard. And then you'll notice this one does have running boards, which are an accessory. I believe those are two, uh, $350 extra. Also look up at the top there, the cargo rack, the tubular cargo wrap is, rack is now standard on the TRD Pro. It's not removable. It's actually bolted right to the roof of the vehicle. I suppose you could take it off, but I wouldn't recommend that matte black finish around the door trims and then this one does have the blackout badge package so the TRD is blacked out on this one. The mirrors are collapsible both ways this way as well as in so if you're doing some off-road driving that's going to come in handy to protect your mirrors. We do have the smart key keyless entry system which means you don't necessarily have to have your keys in your hand Put your hand on, on here. The keys are in the car or in your pocket. It'll unlock the doors right away. What do you think of those running boards? I think they look nice personally, but I'm not so sure how well they'd fare off-road. They sure look nice on it. Let's go ahead and move around to the back. Take a look at some of the features here. Again, we have the blackout package and that's gonna give you the matte black finish across the emblems, the Forerunner emblem. We do have a backup camera right under here. And we do have the power door lock, so you can lock the doors from here. And then this back window is power up and down. Rear window defrost and it's also tinted. Your third brake light is here and your rear wiper tucks up underneath so it gets up and out of the way. Gives it a nice clean look. And notice we do have a spoiler 
on the upper part of the deck as well. Moving around to the trailer towing setup. So here's your female end for your trailer towing. And then underneath, you'll notice we do have a full-size spare tire. There's a little bit of a look at your suspension underneath there. And then over here, this is where you're gonna find all the wiring for your trailer. And it's a four pin pre-wired and seven pin pre-wired. So depending on what your trailer setup is, you should be able to just go ahead and plug in and head out. Also, finally, we do have the TRD Pro blackout badging right there. Let's go ahead and dive into the trunk and see what we can find. Okay, diving into the trunk, you can see I've got the seats folded down in a, but you can, all, you can fold them down 100% like I have right now, or you could go 60% or 40%. And I wanted to show you how much room there is when you do bring that seat down. For sure, you could throw an air mattress in there and do an overnight or maybe even a weekend camping trip in that back end. Here on the rear bumper, here's something that I really like about the 4Runner. Notice how wide this is. And that's going to come in super handy when it's time to sit down and change your boots or put your ski boots on. There's plenty of room to sit down, get your foot up there, whatever you need to do. But I really like that about the 4Runner. A lot of SUVs don't have the ability to sit on that back bumper. It's kind of a big deal when you're changing your boots out. In the back, this one has an accessory, the retractable um, cargo system. And if you pull this trigger right here, you can bring that out. There's a couple settings, one right there, and then there's a little bit further distance. That'll hold up to 440 pounds. And it's nice for tailgating, but it's also nice if you need to put something heavy in, get it way up in there, like maybe your uh, water softener salt, and you can just slide that up in there like that, and it's tucked away. Also, part of that system is a hidden storage compartment right here. So that door comes up and there's a little bit of a storage tray right there and then you can close it up. We do have tie down hooks at all four corners. There's a small package tray here. And then over on this side, a tie down hook. One of your speakers, this is your subwoofer for your JBL audio system, which is part of the TRD Pro package. And then we do have a 120 volt, 400 watt outlet here, and then a 120 volt, or a, I'm sorry, a 12 volt, 120 watt outlet right here. So plenty of places to plug stuff and charge stuff in the back. And then we do have additional speakers up here, another cargo light, and then another cargo light and a speaker here. So the JBL audio system actually has, uh, I believe it's 15 speakers. There's a pull down here for the tailgate and then there's also handles right there. It is not a power tailgate. Uh, I'm 5'7", I can reach it, no problem. And I can close it with one hand if I need to. So that's a look at the trunk. Let's go ahead and move up front. We'll dive in the back seat and see what we can find. So stopping here on the door in the back, there's a small coin tray here. We've got the red stitching for the TRD Pro. There's a, a gloss black applique here. And we do have automatic down and up rear windows, a chrome door handle, and a bottle holder here on the door. And there's one of the many speakers that come as part of the JBL audio system. Now I've got the seat folded 40% down. Over here I've got 60% up. You'll see there's an armrest that has cup holders in it right there. And that folds up so you can get an additional passenger. And then this seat, I wish these seats were power actually, but I guess as a, as a rugged sport utility vehicle it's not. So that one you're gonna have to tug it up. But one of the things I don't like about the Toyotas is sometimes if the front seat's back too far, like this one is, then you've got to go up, bring that seat forward enough so you can go ahead and pop that seat up. So now I'm able to bring it up. 
And the same thing when it comes to putting them down. You just get, need to make sure you have that front seat forward enough to be able to do that. Headrests are folding. The seats are soft tech fabric. They are not leather. And it folds down like that. And there's your passenger room. I think there's plenty of room in the back for three adults. For sure, two adults on a long ride. Three kids, no problem. So I'm 5'7". I moved that seat ahead a little bit, but you can see I still have plenty of leg room. There's a pocket on the back of the seat right here and another one there. Rear seat vents and 2.1 amp plug-ins for your smartphone or what have you. And this one does have the all-weather floor mats, which you can see there. Here's a quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. Okay, diving into the driver's compartment. Again, on the, the door, just one thing to point out here. Power windows are auto up and down, all four of them. And similar to the back seat, red stitching, bottle holders, and an additional speaker up front here as well. That JBL audio system sounds great. I recommend you come in and give it a listen. Power seat on the driver's seat here. Power uh, recliner, power lumbar support. And as I mentioned, the uh, back seats or the seats themselves are soft tech fabric. They're not leather. They do have the red stitching. And then the headrests do have the TRD Pro embroidered right in front of it or right on just the front headrest, not the back ones, only the front. There is a passenger assist grip right here at all four doors. And while I'm here, I'm just going to give you a bird's eye view of that luggage rack. So there's your luggage rack and your power sliding moonroof. Let's go ahead and jump inside and take a look at some of the features. Okay, here we go on the steering wheel. Uh, leather wrapped steering wheel, perforated leather. It's a padded steering wheel with a nice thumb rest right there, so very comfortable. We do have controls for our sound system, voice activation, and Bluetooth connectivity for our smartphone. Once you pair your phone up, you should be good to go. Over on this side, controls for your information center, which is in the center here. And then we do have on-off switches as part of the safety sense system, lane detection, sensitivity for um, the dynamic uh, cruise control and your con cruise control on and off is right here. Rear washer wiper controls, front washer wiper controls, and then over on this side are your headlight controls and your fog light controls. I'm gonna go ahead and start it so you can see what the gauges look like. So there you go. You can see it's a white on black gauge set up um, with red needles, and these are mechanical needles. So no digital stuff going on there. Um, temperature gauge, fuel gauge, and your information center. Ton of information in there. Uh, stop by when you stop in, we can show you how all of that works. Quick look down at your center stack. Let's go ahead and get some light off of that. So your center stack, this is an eight inch touch screen with dynamic navigation. So when I touch on that, um, I can also move it around to where I wanna go. I can put in points of interest. Again, a boatload of technology there. We'd be happy to cover that when you stop in. Um, we do have the JBL audio system, which is a, again, a 15 speaker system. It sounds awesome. Stop by and give it a listen. Automatic temperature controls for driver and front passenger, and it is a digital system, so you can dial it in for individually. We still have the manual controls here, and we do have rear window defrost with heated outside mirrors. Looking down below, go ahead and put, put some light on that so you can see it. Uh, storage compartment, storage compartment. USB plug-in, 12 volt outlet, 120 watts. So plenty of places to plug your stuff in. Cup holder here, 
part-time four-wheel drive. Your four-wheel drive controls are right here to switch in and out, high, low and such. And then your center, we've got a leather wrap and a um, brushed aluminum shifter. You can see it reads TRD right there. The center console is the only place that they use this kind of um, carbon fiber looking plastic. I know it's not carbon fiber, but it does look pretty nice. And we've got our power window switch. This is for the back tailgate window. Heated seat controls with your temperature adjustments. And then an additional cup holder right there. That's kind of a nice look at your center stack and your center console. Over on the passenger side on the dash, there's a kind of a brushed aluminum piece of trim here. I'm sure it's plastic. It looks nice. It's the only place that they use this texture. Uh, glove box is here. Owner's manuals, of course, and we do include some wiring for your trailer towing. Take a quick look up at the headliner on the ceiling here. Um, home link settings. Here's some of your traction, your four wheel drive setup, safety connect, power sliding moonroof controls, your lights for your, over, for your uh, dome lights. Here's your suspension setup and your crawl, crawl setups for your off-road settings. When you stop by, we'd be happy to go over how all of those features work. And then we have an automatic dimming outside mirror as well. And finally, let's take a look at your center console. Your armrest is wide enough for two arms. It does have the red stitching here. And then when you pop it open, it has a lot of storage uh, space underneath there. Super deep. There's another 12 volt, 120 watt outlet there. Place for your coins. And then on the back of the armrest, some storage for notebooks, ink pens, what have you, all that stuff can go right in the armrest there. So that's a quick look at the driver's compartment. Let's take a minute, jump out and look under the hood. Okay, heading under the hood. The uh, engine is a four liter V6 gasoline engine. Uh, this is the only application that Toyota uses this engine in and it performs really, really well. 270 horsepower, 278 foot-pounds of torque, and that whole engine is connected to a five-speed automatic transmission, which is all covered under the five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. And then, of course, Forerunners, just like all other Toyotas, do come with the five, or I'm sorry, the two-year, 25,000-mile Toyota Care, which covers all of your maintenance, for two years or 25,000 miles. So a really nice package. The warranty on the vehicle itself is a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. And uh, Toyota stands behind their products. So really nice ride. Okay, there it is. The uh, 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. Super white in color. Couple extra features on there. Factory running boards factory retractable cargo. That luggage rack up on top is standard. What a great looking vehicle, high quality vehicle, best resale value of any SUV in the market. Hey, this is Tony Talking Car Biz. If you like my video, please go ahead and give a like. Feel free to comment. If you have a question, maybe you want me to do a little bit more detail on perhaps the wheels or maybe the suspension. I'd be happy to do that. Go ahead and put it in the comments. Just ask me and if I have time, I'll do it for you. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.